much anticipated bout. Let's set the table for you and get ready to dish up this big night of action. He's so attentive when it comes to this moment here. This is where everything he's done, all the hard work he's put in, comes down to one singular moment of concentration. Cooper's focus is front and center as he makes his way to the ring right now. All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. All right, all right, Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. If you're the inside fighter, what do you have to think about in terms of putting forth your style of fighting? Well, you better find a good ride to get to that house. That house is on the inside, and you better make sure you're not getting caught while you're coming in. Move your head on the way in, bring your feet, and once you get inside, make sure you do what you got there to do. Protecting his head well with his guard. Little volume punching to the body there. Able to place the right hand in there. A solid uppercut by Dwight Cooper. He missed with that headshot. Got to be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Nice, nice. Well placed, jab straight. Cooper's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Phenomenal pace being set here. They are burning it up early on. Let's find out who's in better shape. We're going to see. Cooper's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. So swiftly able to turn defense into offense. Nice counter punch. And what you're noticing here is his opponent is starting to be a little wary of letting his jab go because every time he jabs, he gets caught. Round comes to an end. And that's one of those rounds, Teddy, that just takes on a certain style, a certain characteristic. And that was a busy one. Yeah, it was a busy one. Look, Joe, you don't have to look for these guys. They're right there in front of you. Why do you think that is? Why do you think sometimes you just get those rounds where it all happens? Because of styles. You know, styles make fights. In this case, you see in proof of that right there. Both guys that are aggressive, both guys that are very confident. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Cooper's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Well, he's got the attitude, something's got to stick. He fires off the combination, and they both do. That's a big right hand. Can you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head? Good return fire that time. White Cooper's legs look shaky. Look at that. He is not meant for life on the outside there, and he just paid the price. He goes down. Because he didn't make his mind up. If you're not going to work out in front, get to a distance where you're safe. He stood there at a bad distance. No man's land. Goes up top with a right hand. Cooper's landed a good, solid combination. with a 
left hand. Cooper smashed by a hook. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Fine-looking combination from him now. Well, that's the benefit of combination punching right there, Joe. The first couple missed, but the third, the fourth, they landed. Keep pushing! You see what happens when he commits to the uppercut. Look at that. Great work there. And now a little combination punching, landing both shots. Like this. He's not skipping a beat. He came out just the way he finished up last round. Yeah, what I like is that he's a thinking man's fighter, and his corner gave him probably good advice. They know that the opponent only had 60 seconds to recover, and they're figuring it wasn't enough time. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the word by Dwight Cooper. Quick trigger, that little double jab there. Boom, boom. Good effective work with that straight right hand. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Cooper's able to avoid that punch. That right hand is becoming a crutch. He can just lean on it now. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Scores up top with a left. Hey, keep your hands up. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Putting his punches together, landing two shots there. Okay, okay, relax now. How are you feeling in there? Just stay alert. Start growing in volume in there. Grow in volume. There you go. Don't let him keep his distance from you, okay? I want you to take that range away. He can't do anything when you're close to him. Well, start around number four. A chance to look at Teddy's scorecard and get his insight. not throwing the power punches, Teddy. What would you say to him? Well, first of all, I would say to him, what do you think, that he's going to make a deal with you? If you don't hit him hard, he won't hit you hard? No, no, it doesn't work like that, my friend. He's going to get confidence now. He's going to take advantage of this. Well, he's committed to the left hand and it's paying like off that. here. Like Hits him in the mug with the right. He fires off the combination there, and it lands. Not able to land the headshot. Here's a moment here as you see the step-back counterpunch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces them into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back. Fundamentals, good counterpunch. Non-stop energy from both guys in this round. The final minute is here. Good night. 